Attention all Social Security recipients, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries. Prepare to embark on an extraordinary financial journey as we unveil breaking news that's about to make your January not just financially robust, but downright thrilling. I'm absolutely ecstatic to bring you the latest scoop. The Social Security Administration has officially confirmed not one, but two groundbreaking checks headed your way. And we're talking about a substantial sum of money that's bound to add a touch of prosperity to your life. Picture this, a staggering $1,800 and $2,400, not just as a one-time bonus, but as a lifeline of financial relief hitting your bank accounts on January 17th. It's not just a windfall, it's a game changer. Whether you're relying on Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or are a veteran benefiting from the VA, this news is tailor-made for you. The anticipation is building and the excitement is palpable. But here's the catch, this isn't just another mundane financial update. This is a beacon of hope, a ray of sunshine breaking through the clouds of uncertainty that may have shadowed your financial landscape. The countdown to January 17th is on, and trust me, you won't want to miss a single detail of this extraordinary revelation. Join me as we dissect the specifics, unravel the intricacies, and delve into the why and how of these unexpected financial blessings. This is not just about money, it's about empowerment, about turning the tide in your favor and rewriting your financial narrative for the better. Firstly, in the case of receiving both retirement and survivor benefits, you'll receive the higher of the two amounts. This ensures that you get the maximum support available to you during challenging times. To qualify for survivor benefits, you generally need to be at least 60 years old and have been married for nine months. However, there are exceptions, such as in cases of accidental death or death in the line of U.S. military duty, where the length of marriage requirement is waived. If you're not already receiving benefits and your partner passes away, it's crucial to apply for survivor benefits as soon as possible. The Social Security Administration, SSA, notes that these benefits may not always be retroactive, emphasizing the importance of a prompt application. Widows, widowers, and dependents may be entitled to survivor benefits after a death, offering crucial financial support to families. In most cases, the surviving individual receives the entire benefit amount of the deceased partner, provided the partner has reached their full retirement age FRA. This can be especially beneficial if the deceased partner had delayed their claim or had a higher benefit for other reasons. While this provides valuable financial assistance, it's essential to note that you won't receive both your benefits and your deceased partner's benefits each month. Instead, you'll receive the higher of the two amounts, ensuring a streamlined and efficient process during a difficult time. For each year beyond your full retirement age that you delay your Social Security benefit claim, your benefits grow by a substantial 8%. Up until the age of 70, this strategic move can have a profound impact on the amount you receive monthly, providing a valuable financial boost during your retirement years. Starting January next year, the average Social Security checks are set to increase by $92 a month, rising from $1,565 to $1,657. This positive change is not only beneficial for individual recipients, but also for couples whose benefits are projected to rise by $154 from $2,599 to $2,753 per month, according to the Social Security Administration, SSA. While many are familiar with old age benefits, it's important to note that you can begin receiving them as early as age 62. However, there's a catch. For each month you delay claiming, your benefits increase in future value until you reach full retirement age. If you were born in 1960 or later, that age is 67. For others, it's 66 and a specific number of months. Despite the option to start receiving benefits at 62, it's essential to be mindful of the potential downside. Cashing in at this age may result in losing up to 30% of the benefit. We'll explore why making an informed decision about when to claim your benefits is crucial for securing your financial well-being during retirement. When applying for Social Security benefits, one essential step is providing proof of income. The SSA.gov website offers a dedicated proof of income request page, where you can find the necessary information and tools to streamline this process. Additionally, this page serves as a valuable resource for accessing services from other government agencies and allows you to request a replacement Social Security card. SSA.gov provides personalized tools to enhance your Social Security experience. Whether you need proof of income, want to request a replacement social security card, or seek more information on various services, this user-friendly platform is designed to cater to your needs efficiently. Now let's take a journey through history and explore the historical cost of living adjustments, COLE, made to social security benefits. In the 1970s, inflation rates varied significantly, 
leading to COLA adjustments ranging from 3.3% to 11.3%. Notably, in 1975, the COLA was increased by 8%, even with inflation at 9.1%. Hitting its peak in 1980, the COLA reached 14.3%, surpassing the inflation rate of 13.5%. The 1990s saw more modest COLA increases of 2% to 3% per year, reflecting reduced inflation rates. Interestingly, the early 2000s, marked by even lower inflation rates, resulted in no COLA adjustments in 2010, 2011, and 2016. Beginning in the 1970s, significant inflation prompted the utilization of cost-of-living adjustments, COLAs, to safeguard various contracts and government benefits from the eroding impact of rising prices. Compensation-related contracts, real estate contracts, and government benefits, including Social Security, relied on COLAs to ensure they kept pace with the cost of living. The Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, CPI Gaudiu, plays a pivotal role in determining COLAs. This index, determined by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS, is utilized by the Social Security Administration, SSA, to calculate the adjustments needed for Social Security benefits. The COLA formula involves multiplying the percentage rise in the CPI Gaudiu from one year's third quarter to the next year's third quarter. For those keen on tracking these adjustments, the SSA provides regular updates on the CPIW and COLA calculations on its website. Staying informed about these figures is crucial for understanding potential changes in Social Security and Supplemental Security income benefits. Beyond Social Security, companies often use the Consumer Price Index, CPI, to make compensation adjustments due to inflation. The CPI serves as one of the most commonly used measures for gouging inflation. Interestingly, the Social Security Administration employs a specific version of the CPI, the CPIW, tailored to calculate inflation and apply cost-of-living adjustments to benefits. The Bureau of Labor Statistics employs similar processes to compute the CPIW as it does for the general CPI, but with specific demographic considerations. This ensures that the index accurately reflects the inflationary pressures faced by urban wage earners and clerical workers, the groups that make up the CPIW demographic. If you happen to lose your social security card, there's good news. In many cases, simply knowing your social security number is sufficient. However, if you prefer having a replacement card, the process is relatively straightforward. Most states offer the convenience of ordering a replacement card online through your social security account. It's a quick and efficient way to ensure you have the documentation you need. While online replacement is available in most states, there are a few exceptions. Residents of Alaska, Minnesota, Nevada, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, and West Virginia may need to explore alternative methods for obtaining a replacement Social Security card. The Bureau of Labor Statistics employs similar processes to compute the CPIW as it does for the general CPI, but with specific demographic considerations. This ensures that the index accurately reflects the inflationary pressures faced by urban wage earners and clerical workers, the groups that make up the CPI demographic.